Hi there, we've got a circle and its circumference is 100 centimeters. We also have this square inscribed in the circle. We want to find the side length of the square using the fact that the circle's circumference is 100 centimeters. We'll go through this example and I'll also give you the general formula to solve this sort of problem. Since we know the circumference of this circle, what else could we figure out? Well, circumference is equal to pi times diameter. So since we know the circumference is 100 centimeters, we could find the diameter of this circle. Setting up this equation, then solving for d by dividing both sides by pi, we find that d, the diameter of the circle, is 100 centimeters divided by pi. Again, this all comes from the fact that the circumference of a circle is pi times diameter. Using that equation and solving for d lets us know what the diameter of the circle is. Now, why is that useful in this situation? Well, the diameter is the distance across the circle. So let's draw the diameter. It looks like that. Aha, since this square is inscribed in the circle, the diameter of the circle is the same as a diagonal of the square. So all we have to do is relate S, the side lengths of the square, to the diagonal. And then since we know the diagonal, because it is also the diameter, we'll be able to solve for the side length. So again, this here is what we'll call D. It's the diagonal of the square, but it's also the diameter of the circle, and we know how big it is. Now, to relate the side length S to the diagonal D, you just gotta use the Pythagorean theorem, since, of course, a square has right angles, so that's a right triangle. And so we have that S squared plus S squared is equal to D squared. Of course, every side of a square has the same length, so this is s, this is s, and the sum of the squares of the legs has to equal the square of the hypotenuse. That's classic Pythagorean theorem. Now, let's solve this equation for d and plug what we get back into the equation for the circle's diameter. So, s squared plus s squared, that of course is 2s squared, so 2s squared equals d squared. Then, to finish solving for d, we'll just take the square root on both sides of the equation. That's going to give us that the square root of 2s squared equals d, and we can simplify this square root because it has s squared in it. We can just take the square root of that and leave 2 alone under the square root. So that's going to give us square root of 2 times s, because we took s squared out of the root, equals d. Now that we've solved for d in terms of s, let's plug this back into the equation for the circle's diameter and finish solving for s, the side length. So we know that d, the diameter, is equal to 100 centimeters over pi, but the diameter is also the square's diagonal, which is square root of 2 times s. So we have that square root of 2 times s is equal to 100 centimeters divided by pi, and we want to find s, the side length. That's the whole goal here. So let's solve this equation for s by dividing both sides by square root of 2. Doing that is going to give us that s is equal to 100 centimeters divided by pi times the square root of 2. Now all that remains is to rationalize the denominator. And to do that, we'll multiply by square root of 2 over square root of 2. This isn't a necessary step. It just makes our answer look nicer by getting rid of the square root in the denominator. This is going to leave us with s is equal to 100 square root of 2 centimeters because we multiplied by root 2 in the numerator. In the denominator, root 2 times root 2 is just 2. So in the denominator, we are just left with 2 pi. But then we can reduce this a little bit because 100 divided by 2 is 50. So then our final answer is s 
equals 50 root 2 over pi, and then I'll just write the units on the end because I think that looks nicer, 50 root 2 over pi centimeters. That's the side length of the inscribed square. And if you're into decimal approximations, this is about 22.5 centimeters. So that's how you find the side length of an inscribed square given the circumference of the circle that's containing the square. All we have to do is find the diameter of the circle, which happens to be the same as the diagonal of the square, and then combining those two equations allows us to solve for s. And here I've gone through that same work again, but just using symbols. So we have a general formula for the side length of an inscribed square given the circumference C of the circle. I started off by setting the diagonal equal to the diameter, and the diameter is circumference divided by pi, and then just finish solving for s, and we arrive at this, which you should be able to connect to the expression that we had in the example problem. So hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Oh.